The only time that I felt I'm standing at a place where history is happening was when Boeing rolled out the first aircraft. And I thought, wow, we trained well over 5,000 people for Boeing. And to say that this system was responsible for it, we got it done, and the aircraft is flying and carrying people. And if I'm real lucky, I'll get to fly on one of them. That's truly awesome. The genius of the early leaders, it was not that they looked back to see what the state needed 20 years, 30 years uh, before 1960 and build a system that would have met those needs. They were really looking ahead, and this system needs to do that as well. I think the whole perception of education is changing. It's more, what can an individual do to help my company? than it is what degrees that, that you have. I see less need for bricks and mortar and more need for technology. You've got to be as close to the front edge as you can possibly get. More partnerships. I just think the answer is doing things together. From a manufacturing base, I see that we're going to continue to expand a lot of high-skill job manufacturing. A subset of that's going to be we're going to have more to do. I see that coming on strong. We bring in very sophisticated manufacturing businesses. Where are the people? Well, the skill levels aren't high enough, so we're going to have to do some really hard work in the next few years helping to bring the skill level up of our citizens. But I say just think back to Governor Hollings and all of those guys who made it work. So I think we can make it work again. I don't see it any different now than it was back years ago because you say to that employer, tell us what you need. You tell us what you need and we will have the people with the skills that you need at the time that you need them. It would go right to the point. Uh, we got the skills to make the ultimate driving machine for BMW and for Boeing. We got the best of the best right here in South Carolina. We're ahead of the curve. Once we say to the technical college system, here's what we need and this is why, there's no doubt that they'll be poised to do it. The nice part about the system in our colleges is we can change very quickly. We have the best training programs in the U.S and we can fill your needs regardless of what they are and if you tell us what you want, we're gonna give you back exactly what you want. So it's all about people and it's all about figuring that out and this institution, more than any institution I believe in South Carolina, is there ready to deal with this responsibility. As the, those transitions take place, I think the the technical college system is going to be in a much better position to uh, meet the educational needs of the citizenry than you know some of the, the four-year colleges because they are offering the kind of training programs that position individuals for employment. We need to be able to get Tom Bartons and uh, Wade Martins and Lex Walters and uh, Fred Fors, uh, that caliber of person into the system now to lead these colleges and to take important leadership positions within the colleges and the system office. Because who knows what will drive the creativity that it's going to take to have a strong economy in the state 15, 20 years from now. And we need people who, who, uh, who are willing to take those risks uh, and, are, and are supported by boards who also understand that. And I guess that's, that's my hope for the future and also my concern, and that's the reason we need leadership, we need the commitment to make this thing work, uh, so these things don't become museums. <laughs> One of the things I worry about going forward is we're beginning to bring a lot of people in from out of state, and bringing people in from states that have been in largely transfer institutions bothers me a little bit, and maybe it shouldn't. I mean, I didn't know anything about the technical education system when I came here but I grew to appreciate it early. I hope these new presidents coming in from other states are gonna do the same thing.
we have been fortunate uh, to attract good people in, and that, that's a good thing. I mean, it is nice to have folks who come in and say, you know, that's, uh, we, we did it a little differently back in Ohio or back in Florida or whatever. Uh, as long as they understand their reasons why we do things the way we do too. So we wanted to use the best ideas they could bring in, but at the same time preserve the tradition, the culture that, that uh, has made our South Carolina system a bit unique. We have the best system in the United States, if not the world, and a product attracts people. Almost to the person, we've attracted some of the finest replacement presents in the country. Because we're successful today, in the technical college system, it goes back to some of those core operating principles that are embedded and woven into this system of education. And it's nowhere else to be found. So my hope is and belief is the system will in fact stay true to its mission and do everything it can to meet the employment needs of the people and business and industry. And at the same time have a quality a transfer program for those students who can't afford to go anywhere else. Uh, that, that's the key to me. The system has positively impacted the quality of life in South Carolina. You can get anywhere from here. Students can have a start here, and they can have a start that's going to make them successful. The real issue is what will be accomplished at the end of the day. We're all about job creation and the importance of a well-educated, productive workforce. The system has held to its principles, trained for known job opportunities. The technical college system had a tremendous positive impact on a lot of manufacturing expansion and a lot of manufacturing sustainability in our state. You can go anywhere in the country and they ask you anything about manpower training and all you got to do is mention South Carolina's program. Ready SC has been a part of the system from the very, very beginning, extremely important to the state and the Apprenticeship Carolina program just makes so much sense. To marry the theory in the classroom with the actual hands-on and paid experience, it's amazing what impact we've had on health care. The clinical experience offered and required by them is really significant. The system has had a tremendous influence on and support of environmental quality, thus the quality of life in South Carolina. One of the cornerstones of what makes a technical college, community college uh, work is being accessible to everyone without any regard for their ability to pay. But affordability is important, very important. The college transfer program makes life easier today for a lot of South Carolinians who don't have the money to go four years to a senior institution. That bridge agreement just really helps smooth that transition. Just look at the growth over the past several years, especially with the Education Scholarship Lottery Program. There's nobody's life that goes untouched. If you look on every corner, you will find someone who's been touched by this college. If you go to eat in a restaurant, your dinner is being prepared by a chef. You go to the hospital and there's a nurse there. Uh, you have your car fixed and they were trained here. Your heating, ventilation, air conditioning has been serviced here. And the law enforcement agency protecting you, they've been here. We're the solid rock of this community. And I believe that we are a home for anyone. It's crazy the way it works, but it works. The compounding effect of that, it raises the whole state. It raises everything. Our technical college system has certainly been a crown jewel in the state of South Carolina. The system's working because the philosophy is still intact. The dignity of all honorable work is working. And there's a respect and appreciation for honorable work that I see as a part of this system. Nobody has a system like this. And we need to do everything we can to preserve and protect it. I don't know what the state would be like without it. This is Dr. Barton's roommate at Clemson. Just tell Rascal he doesn't look at Dan. <laughs> <laughs>
ideas that politicians have are meaningless unless they are implemented. And the real success of technical education goes to the people who made it happen, the Stan Smiths, the Tom Bartons, and I'll go on and on there. The credit goes to the staff, to the people who really took an idea and made it happen in South Carolina.